Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Recently, there was a magnitude 6.1 earthquake there in China. Reports are still coming in. They're saying that two people have died and multiple people are trapped under collapsed buildings. USGS has an intensity level of 8 to 9, which would have shaking between 20 to 30 seconds for level 8 and 45 to 55, almost a minute of shaking for a level 9. Even the smaller level, the level 8 people in cars would have felt the earthquake. It says here, panel walls thrown out of frame structure, falling chimneys, factory stack columns, monuments, walls, heavy furniture overturned, sand and mud ejection in small amount, changes in well water, and of course the people driving would have noticed. Now for level 9 damage considerable and spe specially designed structures, well designed frame houses thrown out of plum. Yeah, they're going to be all cockeyed. Great in substantial building with partial collapse, building shifted off the foundation, ground crack, conspicuously and underground pipes, water, gas would be broken. The moment tensor ball shows a strike slip earthquake. They actually have a liquid faction map along here. I don't know how far the fault line moved. Let me bring this out for you. And we will go to Google Earth, all this area throughout here. Yeah, they would have had uh, the ground turn into jello. I want to look to see what the population is there. The one township has a population of over 30,000, almost 31,000 people. The other Providence has over 45,000 people. And then Dolly has over the different little towns in that area, uh, 652,000 people. And there's a lots of other small communities. Yeah, definitely sending prayers to these poor people. And this would be USGS map for possible landslide areas in the yellow and, um, orange sections. So right now, for the rupture distance, what they have would be, let's see here, um, about 10 kilometers. They have an intensity level here of 8.7, almost 9. And I'll bring this down where you can see this is distance in kilometers. And then the little dot. So a little farther than 10 kilometers. So that would be a little bit more than 6 miles. Hard to say how far this fault ruptured. China would probably never come out with exactly how much damage was done. They have that great wall of internet silence. The censoring that um, limits how many people can report. Um, the only ones that report outside of China would be the military. So the true numbers of the dead, the true numbers of image, building collapses. Um, yeah, that would be what China wants you to know. And they're never going to tell you the truth. There is only one Twitter post so far that I could find. It shows people rushing out of a store, uh, lamps swaying. Um, yeah, I'm surprised that even got out. Yeah, here they are when the earthquake occurred and yeah, things falling off the shelf and people rushing out. Now this post says it might have been a 6.4. Alright, he's got another Twitter post showing things flying off the shelves. And I suppose these are the aftershocks of 4.3, 4.0, 3.9, 4 4.1, 4.9. Over on the right, you can see the time, 5.0, 4.1, and a 6.4.
prior to that there was um, a 2.8, I'm not sure on the location, 4.5, 5.6, 4.2. Like I said, this guy probably more than likely works for the military to get the information out. And I'll give you links to all these Twitter posts. Here we got the Chinese people rescue running out. This was probably pre-recorded. Here we got a, inside of a building, another rescue vehicle. This is from uh, CGTN, it says. Here's a more recent image. It says that uh, people were buried in a landslide caused by um, the earthquake. This video comes from the China Youth Daily Weibo. This is that store as a better image showing the stuff falling. It wasn't shaking very much there where that was recorded. Yep, sending prayers to all the good people there. Any thoughts or comments or questions? Uh, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.